For great gameplay videos, reviews, and awesome design work, make sure to visit Lugo Entertainment's YouTube channel. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Rich of Review Tech USA. And I want to talk about a topic that has been discussed from IGN uh, to Icy Rhythms to Brodeo. I think Brodeo. If you didn't talk about it, do it here. Yeah, I gave you a shout out. Should people who haven't yet uh, invest in this generation? And Icy Rhythm said no. Of course, IGN said yes. They're not going to say no because Sony or Microsoft would send ninjas to their offices and kill them if they said no because that would take money away from their pockets. But I kind of have a gray area answer to it. Here's my take on it. The thing about this generation is that this is the longest generation ever. I, I think it's official now. No generation has lasted longer than this current generation of gaming consoles. Not saying that other consoles haven't lasted as long, but having these consoles, the current generation, the PS3, the 360, and the Wii, be the main consoles without a successor coming out, this is the longest generation. I know the PlayStation 2 has been out for 10 years, but five years into it, the PlayStation 3 came out. It's past five years, and there isn't a PS4. And now, because of this, you know, people are still getting the uh, gaming itch. They want to know, hey, you know, I haven't invested in this generation yet, or I haven't invested in the Sony or Microsoft camp yet. Should I? If the consoles actually are coming out in 2014, then I would say, hell yeah. I mean, that's another two years. In a normal console lifespan, which is usually five years, there's almost half the life left of the current generation console. So think about it. It's only 2011. If they are coming out with the Xbox 720, which is a terrible name, and the PS4 in 2014, you have almost two years and change left to enjoy them and, and play all the new games that are going to come out, all the games that have been released. And if they're going to be the forefront console, you're good. But I have a feeling now, and I kind of was leaning away from this, but now I'm just second guessing it, that either Sony or Microsoft's camp is going to pull a Sega. They're going to pull a surprise where, oh yeah, we said 2014, but yeah, we're coming out with it at the end of 2012. And if that happens, I would tell you, hell no, stay away. You know, and this is where they're kind of frustrating me, Sony and Microsoft. Now, obviously, they don't want to take away the thunder of their current generation hardware. I understand that. And if they announce a console, it'll turn people off to buying. You know, they won't buy a 360 when they know the next gen console is a year away. But at the same time, you know, I mean, I guess business is business. But this is, I guess, extraordinary circumstances, meaning the fact that no generation has lasted as long. So I wish that Sony or Microsoft would give a hint right out of their camp, not going through GameStop, not going through IGN, not going through other you know tech journalism sites. Say, hey, you know, we are thinking of this as a target date. The, the companies have done it before. You know, when the N64 was out, they kind of hinted when the uh, GameCube was coming out, so on and so forth. I mean, and plus back then it was just natural to know that in five, four to five years uh, there was a new console coming out. Hell. The, ex the original Xbox did not even get five years. So basically, my take on it is this. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> That's really it. it it's kind of tough because, I mean, I've been hearing stuff from Bethesda, like I said, from GameStop and other credible sources that they're not coming out with new consoles, Sony and Microsoft anyway, obviously Nintendo is, until 2014. But then you hear other things about how Microsoft is getting a console together and they may announce it at E3. I mean, if they announce it at E3, I can't... Of 2012, I should say. E3 2012. I can't picture them waiting for another two years or a year and a half to release the console. Maybe eight, because, you know, times have changed. It's not a natural or normal five-year cycle. Maybe they will wait till 2014 if they announce the next generation Xbox at E3 2012. But I don't know what to tell you. Um, because if it's two years from now, or if it's 2014, they're going to come out with new consoles... That's two years is a long time when it comes to technology. There's plenty of games that are going to be released, big AAA titles that are going to be released that are going to be worthwhile to have the console for. But if they're going to do a surprise, either Sony or Microsoft, and drop something in a year to compete with the Wii U, you know, and the systems are going to be backwards compatible, I mean, talk about robbing you. I mean, but hey, I guess it's big business. Like, I bought an original Xbox right at the end of the life of it, thinking that Microsoft was still going to support it. And yeah, as soon as the 360 came out, they dropped it like a sack of shit. So, 
Anyway, guys, uh, leave your thoughts on this. Do you think that someone who didn't invest in a current-gen console should get one, or should they wait? I don't really know what to tell them. I'm not going to lie. I, this is extraordinary circumstances. Uh, this is the most unique generation yet. And I guess all I could say is, yeah, if you have the money, go out and buy the system. Have fun, but buyer beware. In a year, it could be worthless, and you could have wasted your money. But, hey, you only live once, so... Leave your thoughts and comments below. Tell me what you think. Do you think people should purchase a current generation console right now? As always, guys, make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And now I have to go work on an NBA 2K12 review before Ben Hansen and Steve Masters from GotGame.com uh, fly out here and assassinate me. They're going to hook up electrodes to my nipples, and it's going to be pain. Real pain. True story, too, by the way. Anyway, have a good